I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade, and it is that time of year again, time to talk about the tropics. We still have two days before we officially kick off our 2023 hurricane season, but we already have some action taking place out in the Gulf. So we're going to go ahead and get things started for this season. Of course, you can always find out whatever information you need to find out by heading to our web page fox26houston.com you can also find it on our youtube page that's where we'll have our daily tropical updates and you can also download our fox26 weather app where you can find out some tropical information on there as well along with a plethora of other weather info let's talk about what's happening though out in the gulf even though we officially have not kicked off our hurricane season we've already got an area of disturbed weather, some disorganized showers and storms in the central to eastern Gulf that the National Hurricane Center is already monitoring. And it's the area just to the east of that yellow X there, that blob of heavy rain and storms that you see moving closer to the state of Florida. The good news with this at this point, there's only a low chance that this will actually start to become more organized and develop into a tropical cyclone. So the chances at this point, like I said, extremely low through the next two days or the next 48 hours, only a 10% chance for development through the next seven days. We're talking about only a 20% shot for development. But regardless, even if this remains disorganized, models are taking this closer and closer to Florida and likely moving over the floor. Florida Peninsula as we go through the weekend. So this is what it looks like now. Just some disorganized showers and storms. You can see some of those brighter colors indicating some of those higher, colder cloud tops. And we do have the potential for this becoming more organized and maybe getting a tropical or subtropical system out there. But it is moving away from Texas. So that means we're not expecting any major impacts from it. It looks like Florida, though, will get some bigger impacts from this system. System. So we've been talking about where this is headed. As I mentioned, it should be heading away from us, but I want to show you what our model shows. This is our European model, and it does show this system staying fairly disorganized over the next couple of days. However, maybe looking a little bit more impressive towards the end of the work week as we get towards Friday. It is getting closer to the Florida panhandle and Florida Peninsula and we are going to have that chance for some gusty wind and also the threat for some heavy rain and some stronger storms as this starts to push across Florida. So Tampa, Orlando, even Miami likely in for some pretty heavy rainfall, some gusty winds, the higher chance for those dangerous rip currents and things like that. So we are going to have to monitor that closely as we go through the weekend. Maybe you have some friends, family in Florida, maybe you have a trip planned to Florida. You will have to monitor that for forecast because we could be talking about some delays maybe at the airports and other delays weather related. As far as this upcoming hurricane season, let's talk about it. We've had two really important forecasts that have come out, one from Colorado State University and another from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration otherwise known as NOAA. So the CSU forecast calls for 13 named storms, six hurricanes, two major hurricanes for this upcoming season. The NOAA forecast, very similar, but you're talking about more of a range instead of specific numbers. But the NOAA forecast calls for 12 to 17 named storms, five to nine of those becoming hurricanes and one to four becoming major hurricanes. So we're talking about a near average season that's being predicted by CSU, Colorado State University, and also NOAA. This is our average season based from 1991 to 2020, which calls for about 14 named storms, seven hurricanes, and three major hurricanes. So we're very close to what we would consider an average season. But an average season doesn't necessarily mean a great thing because we're talking about only one of these systems impacting us that could cause major problems. So we don't have to have a lot of storms for us to have a bad season locally. So that means you need to stay alert, stay aware, make sure you're prepared. We just did a really important hurricane special that aired last night at 9 30 p.m. And if you didn't miss that, you can find that on our website. Just go to fox26houston.com 
and click on the weather tab and that will take you to our hurricane special if you miss that. So as far as tropical activity, this is a closer look at the NOAA forecast. This is the 2023 Atlantic hurricane season outlook and basically it's just showing you in a different mode what they're expecting. 40% chance for an average season, 30% chance that the season would be above average or below average. And once again, 12 to 17 named storms, five to nine hurricanes and one to four major hurricanes anticipated. So bottom line, even though we're expecting a near average season, it could still be a pretty catastrophic season if we do get one or two of those major systems to head our way. So we will be monitoring it closely daily and giving you the daily updates that of course you need and make sure to keep it here because you will have the latest on what's going on. As far as tropical cyclone names for the 2023 season, here you have it. The first system would be named Arlene, then we'd have Brett, Cindy, Don, Emily, Franklin, Gert, and then we would get to Harold. Now notice that four of these names are new. Of course, these names are recycled every six years unless the previous name use was occurring with a system that basically became very strong, very dangerous, produced a lot of fatalities, produced a lot of damage, and that name would then become retired. So Harvey, Irma, Maria, and Nate were all retired, and they were replaced with Harold, Idalia, Margo, and Nigel. So those will be the four new names on this list for this year's hurricane season. So hopefully we won't get through all of these names. We're hoping for another quiet season, but you just never know. We are expecting the potential for maybe some tropical action headed our way. So we will be keeping you posted. We'll keep you updated daily. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this update, make sure to grab our Fox 26 weather app because you can find many tropical forecasts on there, forecast cones, other tropical updates. We've got a follow me feature. And of course, if we do get any hurricane watches or warnings, those will be posted on our Fox 26 weather app as well. So once again, I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shea delivering your very first hurricane update for this 2023 season. Hopefully it will be a quiet season, but bottom line, we want everyone to stay safe. So make sure that you keep it here daily and we will let you know if we have anything potentially dangerous headed our way.